Hey, I'm Harry Atwater. I'm uh, a faculty member in applied physics and material science at Caltech. I'm the uh, newly uh, appointed editor-in-chief of ACS Photonics. Uh, so a photon actually embodies both the wave nature and the particle nature of light. Th there are many potential applications in photonics. Photonics uh, uh, materials and devices are sort of in our all around us every day. Uh, we simply need look at our laptop screens and we see a very complex photonic device. Now my research spans the subjects of nanophotonics and metamaterials, how light interacts with uh, structures that are smaller than the wavelength of light. Uh, and we have another center of uh, uh, activity and uh, enthusiasm in solar energy conversion. I think the thing that drew me to the field of photonics was the opportunity to uh, understand new uh, fundamental phenomena in light propagation and dispersion. So my vision for the journal is uh, sort of bound up in the reasons why I got involved, and that is to really create an interdisciplinary forum that moves the interdisciplinary field of photonics forward. Uh, so to me, this is a journal that encompasses physics, chemistry, and engineering in equal measures. Well, I think this interdisciplinary focus is really the uh, at the core of ACS Photonics and sets it apart from some of the other disciplinary uh, journals that exist today. And I think there's a real opportunity there because many of the most uh, compelling new uh, emerging discoveries and applications are at the intersections of these fields and embody interdisciplinary work. So my advice to authors would be, first of all, send us your best papers, uh, and second, to uh, have an interdisciplinary focus uh, if possible. I think that we're, we're very interested in uh, papers and scientific advances that draw together uh, different fields and, and work at the boundaries between disciplines. For uh, undergraduates, my advice would be less is more. Uh, there's a tendency to try to sort of take, uh, take on too much. Don't take on so many things you can't do the things you do well. Pick a few things and do them well. For graduate students, I would say um, my advice would be that grad school is a marathon rather than a sprint. So pick something that you envision uh, doing a, long, uh, a good long run with. I have adopted uh, 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 words to live by that I, I uh, uh, sort of inherited from one of my mentors, which is uh, make sure that you're in a field where you can say at the end of the day, uh, I've never worked a day in my life. You know, I, I'm privileged and uh, constantly amused by the things that I do and uh, to the point where it doesn't feel like work. And I you know, really feel blessed to have been able to um, indulge myself in a career of uh, research in science and engineering. And, uh, uh, I also really enjoy working with young people uh, here at Caltech.